My name is Royden Lowen. I'm the Chair in Mennonite Studies at the University of Winnipeg, one of the co-sponsors of a conference that uh, we are going to start here in Omsk, Siberia, Russia tomorrow. We are meeting here after dinner. Uh, we've just uh, met uh, all the various participants and um, I think we've got every, uh, all the logistics uh, down pat for uh, beginning tomorrow what we think should be an historic event. It's a three-day conference bringing together about 15 Mennonite scholars from mostly North America, some in Europe, and then another 15 from Russia, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and other places here. Um, and uh, so the two languages, English and Russia, Russian will be used to dialogue about um, the um, significance of Siberia in Mennonite history. And uh, we, we are going to see a variety of perspectives and um, we are hoping that uh, this conference will build on two earlier ones uh, organized by Professor Harvey Dick and others in 1999 at Gortica and in 2004 at Malachna. And we're hoping to build on um, the idea of uh, crossing cultural lines and sharing ideas and uh, furthering our knowledge of, uh, of Mennonite history and in particular here the very important uh, place of Siberia in the Mennonite experience. I'm Paul Thaves. I represent Fresno Pacific University, one of the co-sponsors also of the conference. Uh, University of Winnipeg, Fresno Pacific University, have been working together with OMS. Uh, State University for the past couple of years in the planning of this conference. The uh, people at Ohm State University have um, provided uh, the work on this side and uh, Royden and I have worked together on uh, the North American side. So it's a, a joint uh, effort by three institutions. The Mennonite story begins here in Siberia in the 1890s, so it's, uh, we're looking at uh, 115 years in which Mennonites have been in and around Omsk and other parts of Siberia. This is a conference that could not have taken place um, during Soviet times. It's a conference that um, has been made possible by the opening up of the archives uh, in the last 20 years. And the amount of documentary material that has become available for examining the Mennonite story is exceedingly rich. And so scholars, uh, particularly here and in, in Kazakhstan, have been uh, looking at materials, gaining, um, gaining access to uh, records which uh, provide an amazing amount of detail regarding the Mennonite story. Many aspects of that story will be looked at over the course of the next several days. It, it clearly will be a historic event in that this is the first time that there has been this kind of concentrated discussion of the uh, Mennonite story as it has unfolded in Siberia. There are still intact Mennonite communities in Siberia. Their numbers are vastly diminished from what they were earlier with the out-migration of the 1990s. But even so, we will... Uh, in addition to the scholarly participation, have representatives from these Mennonite communities that will be present and will be also providing their own perspective on the uh, century of uh, Mennonite life in Siberia. I mention Mennonite Heritage Cruise for further uh, reports. Follow Google, Google Mennonite, Mennonite Heritage, Heritage Cruise Heritage and then follow the links. Okay. For further reports uh, on YouTube, uh, you can Google the Mennonite Heritage Cruise and then follow the links. We will be doing periodic updates uh, during the course of the next several days. Uh, following the conference, we'll also be visiting Mennonite villages, Mennonite communities outside of Omsk, and uh, we may also be posting some of the sites that we'll see during the course of those visits. <coughs>